for the questions in the next exam. Achha. Okay, chalo, so what will be there, like uh, will there be any science exam in the next week in the next coming exam? Yes, sir. So oh, what are the portions that is coming? Sir, from human eye, the dispersion of light and from electricity. Uh, what is the part uh, from the electricity that is coming? Do you know the uh, topic's name? Uh, not yet, sir, because uh, if they finish the whole chapter, they will put the whole chapter. But if not, they will oh. take on it. <laughs> electricity is very vast. How is it possible to complete it in like uh, in a very speedy manner? Let's discuss the electricity then. Just a second. Let me make a Sir, I asked the teacher and the last part is coming of the human eye chapter. Last part is scattering of light, na? Yes, sir. It's coming. Yeah. So, okay. So, so shall we discuss that part in this class, Shazal? Yes, sir. Chalo, that's great. Okay. Instead of doing the, uh, basically, light uh, electricity, let's complete this scattering part. So let me share my screen. So I like it's already shared. So let's open this thing. Okay, Shadal. So as you have the PDF, so what I will do is that uh, instead of writing all the things, because right now you have like in the next class, we are going to start the, uh, you can say the electricity chapter, because in the last week, like you have missed one class, right? So let's okay. compensate it. Okay. Because uh, if they suppose that if they complete the half chapter, at, if they complete the full chapter, at least we should have done the half chapter so that you could score in a very good manner, right? So, okay. Yes. One more thing, Shazil, that uh, do not skip the revision for the light chapter and the human eye. If sub, like exams are over, I can understand. But like do the revision simultaneously while you are basically giving the exams because the light chapter is a little bit difficult because there is a sign convention. As you said to me that uh, you got confused in the sign convention, right? So yes, it sir. would be much better to do the revision along with the exams. Yeah? Yes, sir. Sure, that's great. Now let's understand what do you mean by scattering of light, Shazal? So a scattering of light is the phenomena by which a beam of light, a beam of white light is re redirected in many directions. It means that if a light is traveling, so it will spill out in many directions. Right. So you must have seen that whenever a farmer basically spills the seeds, they go in random directions, right? Yes, in the sir. field, and they go in the random directions. So that this uh, scattering of light is very similar concept to the spilling of beans into the farm. Right. You must have seen in the villages, like uh, you are in, like you basically your uh, city is Kerala. You must have seen that because in that, in that area, yes, there are so many fields right there. There's so much mm -hmm. greenery, right? So you must have seen this thing in a very casual manner. Right. And, uh, and even if you basically uh, plant some seeds into the pot. Right. So this is also the same manner. So scattering of light means when the light is scattered, when the light is split, is spill out in different random directions. Clear, Shazal? Yes, sir. Okay. And this happens due to the particles available in the atmosphere. But the particles act as a barrier. It, the particles act as a refracting surface. So that's why they got spill out. Is this clear to you, Shazal? Yes, sir. Sure, that's great. Okay. So, next is scattering of light depends on the size particle, right? And wavelength of the color present in the white light. So, scattering of light depends on the size particle, right? It means that how much the particles are big. What is the size of the particle? What is the basically the dimensions of the particle that affects the scattering of light, that affects the uh, like that basically determines which color will scatter, which color will spill out into the atmosphere. Clear, Shazil? Yes, sir. Sure, that's great. And wavelength of the color. So, Shazil, as we have discussed in the dispersion of light, that there are seven colors in the white light. The sunlight coming from the uh, sun is basically in white in nature. So, it means that it is a basically a band of seven colors. So, every mm -hmm. light, every color have different wavelength. As red is the highest wavelength, longest wavelength, and the violet has the shortest wavelength. Is this clear to you, Shazil? Yes, sir. Okay. So that's what scattering of light is. Do you have any doubt, Shazil? No, sir. Chalo, that's great. Okay. Now let's understand 
what are the particles that are suspended in the atmosphere so dust particle water droplets suspended in the atmosphere are much larger than the wavelength of visible light range so the particles of the uh, dust particles and water droplets are very big in size as compared to the wavelength size of the colored rays colored light rays right because red color violet yellow so the size of the particles are very big as compared to the color wavelength is this clear to you shazil yes sir okay and one more thing shazil this is the light range this is the wavelength light range of the visible region so 400 newton 400 nanometer is the smallest smallest wavelength that is of violet color 700 nanometer is the highest or longest wavelength for the red color is this clear so please remember yes. at least these two values because sometimes the question comes into the exam that what is the value of the wavelength of a violet color right so Okay, what is the wavelength of the red color? So they could ask that in the single one marker question. Is this clear to you, Shazil? Yes, sir. Do you have any doubt, Bache? No, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Sure, that's great. Till now, is everything clear? Yes, sir. Sure, that's great. Okay, next is basically, okay, so the air molecules, so air molecules are basically of the nitrogen and oxygen air molecules because nitrogen and oxygen gases are present in the atmosphere present in the atmosphere are smaller than the wavelength so the particles air particles are much smaller than the wavelength of the visible light is this clear to you shazil yes sir okay Shalo, that's great okay so dust particles are much more larger but the air molecules or the gaseous molecules are smaller in nature is this clear to you Bajin? yes sir Shalo, that's great okay and Okay, next thing is that the color of the scattered light depends on the size of the scattering particles in the atmosphere. So, the, which color will scatter into the atmosphere that depends on these particles that is that are suspended into the atmosphere. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay? So, that's why it is important to understand which color will spill out into the atmosphere. Next is, so the larger particle and larger particle of dust and water droplets presented in the atmosphere scatter the light of longer wavelength. It means that the wavelength that is basically the, the longer wavelength will be scattered by the particles of dust and water. Is this clear to you? And shorter, okay, clear yes, or sir. as such due to which the scattered light. So sometimes you will see that the colors are exactly like distinct colors into the atmosphere like red color or okay so red color or yellowish color is very much visible so that is due to the dust particle and if the if scattering is not happening by the dust particle in the water droplets so it would be much more towards the white side clear shazal yes sir okay chalo that's great next is these extremely minute particles means extremely small particles. Like you must have seen that the dust, uh, you can see the uh, the gas molecules or the gaseous atoms are very small in size. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay, so that's why the extreme minute particles such as air molecules or mist. Mist is mist basically is a kind of fog. You must have seen that uh, like uh, in the summers uh, when we use fan in the public places, there is a kind of... Uh, spray water spray is there along basically uh, attached with the so you can say fat attached with the fan so that forms a kind of mist a very very fine shower of water very yes. fine shower of due basically to uh, relief from the heat so that is called mist very fine mo molecules present in the atmosphere scatter the may scatter mainly the blue light so the small particles minute particles mostly scatter the blue light color in the sky in the atmosphere is this clear to you shazil please let me know yes sir it's clear Chalo, that's great okay so basically larger particles will scatter the larger wavelength color or the way light would appear as the white color right if the scattering is not that much observable and this extremely minute particles of molecules air molecules or the mist will be will scatter the blue light color present in the white sunlight clear shazil Yes, sir. Chalo, that's great. Okay, so question is saying that, Shazil, why the sky is blue? 
so this is a question that comes into the exam why is this sky is why sky is blue instead of yellow instead of uh, uh, you can say green or any other color right the scattering of blue component of white light by air molecules present in the atmosphere causes the blue color of this the first reason is that the air molecules will basically scatter the shorter wavelength so as you can see this thing shazil wireless violet color does not have that much longer wavelength so it will not travel more will not travel more and these minute particles of air molecules will not scatter the red color due to the size so the only thing that is left is the blue color which basically com which is basically compatible to the air molecules and the air molecules scatter the blue color most clear yes sir so sometimes if the question comes into the mind that why violet why only blue color why not violet violet will not travel that much so that's why the sky will not be observable because they go uh, the sky basically the sky is infinite you must have seen that like sky the air the whole sky we need the is whole sky just have to be covered by the blue color right but the violet color does not have that much wavelength so it will not travel uh, like as compared to blue color right and if we talk about why this why the sunrise why the, why the color of the sky is not yellow green or orange or red because the minute particles that is present in the atmosphere will not scatter the large wavelength because of the size so the only thing that is matching with the size of the air molecules the wavelength that is of the blue color clear shazil so blue color that's why it is scattered most by the air molecules into the atmosphere so that's why the component of the sky is blue the, basically the color of the sky is blue. clear shazil please let me know yes sir chalo that's right okay now next next basically is uh, like uh, explanation when sunlight passes uh, this is the uh, basically the reason that what happens actually into the atmosphere when sunlight passes through atmosphere most of the longer wavelength present in it do not get scattered as i have told you that due to the small size of the minute particles the wavelength of the long uh, the wavelength of the longer uh, basically longer wavelength will not scatter by much due to the air molecules in the atmosphere and hence shorter wavelength is scattered the most by the air molecules all over the sky please let me know shazil is this clear shazil yes. is this clear yes shazil what happened is this clear yes sir chalo theek just a second let's check Yes, Shazil. So what was so, so the longer wavelengths uh, mm -hmm. do not get sc scattered, right? Ha, the longer the longer wavelength will not get scattered due to the size of the air molecules. Si air molecules are not that much. Uh, you can say bigger in nature, bigger in size. Okay. Yes. Shall that's what it. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. So, Shazil, one more thing. If suppose that there is no atmosphere, na, so the Earth would appear black. and dark just like in this space because the sky is like uh, the outer space doesn't have uh, the atmosphere right so that's why the sky in the outer space is black and dark due to the no atmosphere so if the earth had no atmosphere consisting of air there would be there would have been no scattering at all so no scattering will happen because if there is no atmosphere there will not be any particle that can scatter the sunlight yes or no yes sir right so due to that the scattering will not happen so no light from the sky will enter our eyes and no like no black uh, like no other color will can be observed except black and dark because other colors will not get scattered right if there yes, is no yes. color it means that the color, the observable thing would be black clear shazil yes sir so this is in sometimes exam in like in the exams the question says that why do we why uh, why does the sky appears blue to the astronaut you will write is you will write first thing that this the outer surface the outer atmosphere the basically outer space does not have atmosphere okay consisting of air so they are that's why there would not be any scattering so no light sunlight could be could enter into the human eye and the sky will appear black and dark 
So in outer space, the sky looks dark and black instead of blue because there is no atmosphere to scatter sunlight. So therefore, the sky appears black and dark. Please let me know, Shazil. Is this clear to you or not? Yes, sir. Any doubt? No, sir. Chalo, that's great. Okay. Next is, just a second. Next is the danger signals. Why does the danger signal is red in color? The reason is that the danger signals in the fog, in the, uh, you can say, uh, very foggy, like in the foggy or smoky region, it could be seen very easily due to that the red color will travel the most due to the longest wavelength among all the visible range colors. So it will travel more. So it could be seen from a very far distance. Clear? Yeah? Yes, sir. If you suppose that, Shazil, if there is a very, uh, very... Uh, shiny thing uh, basically placed uh, like I think so 100 meter 200 meter away from you. So it could be seen very easily because that will be shimmering and basically it will be shining. Yes, right? Sir. And if you basically place the if you basically place the dark and dull like the coal charcoal or coal it will not be visible that much. Yes sir. Right. So that's why uh, the danger signals are in red color because Red color light having longer wavelength is least scattered. So that's why it is not scattered at all into the atmosphere. Okay. And by the uh, scattered by fog or smoke particles. Okay. The smoke particles and fog particles basically cannot scatter. Okay. Due to this, yes. the red light can be seen. The red light can be seen the same color even from a distance. Okay, it can be seen a red color from a distance itself. Please let me know, Shazal. Do you have any doubt till now? No, sir. Sure? Yes, sir. Sure, that's great. Now let's discuss some questions. Yes, Shazal, please let me know the options in the chat A, B, C, D. Let me take some more questions. Please solve this till then. Please let me know the answer, Shazal, one by one. Sir, 15 is uh, D, scattering of light. Oh, yeah, 15 is D. The blue color of the sky is due to the scattering of light. Very good. Next one. Uh, 
uh, red color is least scattered. Yes, red color is least scattered. Next one. Uh, D, sun appearing red at sunset. So the following is not the correct. Uh, yes, it's not the uh, refraction of light, sun appearing red. This is scattering of light. Clear, Shalva? Yes, sir. Next. Sir, it's dust particles or gas, gas molecules. Mr. Azul, you said something? Sir, it is gas molecules, right? Yes, it would be gas molecules. Clear? Yeah? Yes, sir. So, 13 is C. 13 is? The atmospheric refraction of the light causes by the twinkling of stars, stars only. Because twinkling of stars is basically observed in the uh, luminous objects. So 14 is refraction of light. Is Shazali said something? Is that 14 is refraction of light? 14 is the link. No. Just a second. The star appear higher in the sky and uh, due to the refraction of light shots. You said scattering of light. Na? No, sir. I told refraction of light. Ajah, I heard that it is scattering. Sorry for that. Sorry for that. Mm -hmm. Yes, tell me, Shah. The next one. Fifteenth. The stars are far off, but planets are nearer to Earth. The stars twinkle, but the planets does not do not twinkle at night because. The yes, stars, the stars are far, off. far off. Yes, T option. Stars are far off. It's correct. Okay, Shazal got sc uh, like scared. Like uh, I'm going to <laughs> recall the wrong answer. <laughs> Shala, no worries. Next one. Just a second, let me. So, Shazan, in the next class. Okay, so I'm be, okay. After this class, Shazan, you'll be having the assessment because the uh, topic will be done. So, you can. So please do the assessment after this class. Okay, Shazan? Yes, sir. Sure, that's great. So it bends towards the normal, right? Just a moment, Shazan. Could you please allow me a moment? Yes, Shazan, you said the as uh, light to, from a far off star comes down, down towards the earth, it will bend away or towards? Towards the normal. Yes, it will bend towards the normal because the density of the atmosphere increases as we come towards the surface of the earth. Okay? The yes. atmosphere becomes more denser. That's why it will be so rarer to density. You are coming from rarer to density. It will be bent towards the normal. Clear, Shazan? Yes, sir. Next one. Uh, two minutes, B. 
we can see the sun, sun before the actual sunrise by about two minutes. Yes, it was two minutes. N next, tell me. Uh, B, two minutes. Due to the atmospheric refraction of sunlight, the time from sunset is lengthened by four minutes. Does it two minutes in the sunrise, two minutes in the sunset? So total, it would be four. Oh. Okay, so that's why. Please, uh, like, uh, concentrate these small mistakes. Check it. Yes. Sure, that's great. Next one. Uh, D, the Earth has atmosphere. The Earth has atmosphere. So that's why the atmospheric refraction will occur. And it will be much, like, it will get lengthened by four minutes. Okay, that's great. Sure, Just allow me a moment. Okay, one more thing, Shazil. Suppose that so in the uh, af in the afternoon, basically in the at around twelve o'clock, the sky appears to be white. Like uh, the bluish color is not that much visible, but the white color is visible. Do you understand why? Maybe the scattering of light. Uh, scattering of light. So there you go. When the light, when the sun rays, when the basically there is a noon, so the sun is almost perpendicular to the surface of the earth, right? Due to that, the refraction will be almost unobservable. Okay, so due to that, the scattering will not happen, right? So the light rays will not get scattered that much. So and the light coming to the earth would be in white color, right? So that's why in the morning. It is almost uh, like above, like near to the horizon. So it would be blue in color. In the afternoon, it would be almost perpendicular to the earth's surface. So it would be white majority of time. And in the evening, the sunrise and due to the sunrise and sunset, it would be red. Okay. Because when this, when this uh, sun is near the horizon, now, so the rays, the color, light ray has to travel more distance. So more distance means longer wavelength. So longer wavelength is only red and red color. Right, so that yes. portion is deleted. Why the sunrise? Why the uh, like? Uh, why is the sky red at the sunset and the sunrise? So that portion is deleted from the CVSC. But okay, I'm just telling you the concept. Clear, Shazil? Yes, sir. Shazil, that's great. Just a second. So, so your schools are reopened, Shazil? Yes, sir. So are you going to schools? So classes have started? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So when were uh, when was the last exam? Uh on 31st. It's 31st. First exam was on 26th, 5th. Yes, sir. Okay, so your exams were continuous without any break. Yes, sir. Okay, that's why you got free without any hassle. Chalo, cheeky, that's great. Just a second, Shazil. So, Shazil, so uh, you were not able to solve the questions from the we can say human eye, right? So it's not light, it's basically light chapter. Yes, sir. Chalo, take it. Sir, is go in do three questions ko zara solve karte hain. Shazil, yahi pe. Chhiye. Okay. Uh, please let me know the answer. The first, uh, first one solve karke batao mujhe is answer kya hoga. Piche lo rukwa ki aap. Main aapki note jo open kar leta hu. सिर्फ स्कैटरिंग ऑफ लाइट का ही करेंगे हम लोग
let's do the question based on the scattering of light at the night at the noon the sun appears white as please let me know the correct option shazan for the fourth question Because uh, light is least scattered. Yes, light is least scattered. Which of the following phenomena of light are involved in the formation of a rainbow? Refraction, dispersion, and total internal reflection. Yes. Refraction, dispersion, and total internal reflection. The so total total internal reflection is the phenomena in which the, all the light rays uh, basically reflects back into the same medium after refraction. It means that when the light changes, uh, basically light goes from one medium to another medium, and it strikes the surface of that medium at a certain angle. So that's why all the rays gets reflect back into the same medium. So TIR is not that much, in, is not there in your syllabus. Only the word is there, right? So the concept yeah. is there in the 10th, 11, 12th standard. Yes, Shazan? Yes, sir. Twinkling of a star. Yes, Shazil, tell me. What does it mean? Why? What? Twinkling of a star? Dispersion. No. What? Refraction of light by different layers of varying yes. refractive index. Refraction of light by different layers of varying refractive indices. Okay, it, so because in refractive index indices of uh, basically refractive refractive index varies from one layer to another layer, so that's why it's called varying layer. Different layers are there like troposphere, mesosphere, stratosphere, exosphere. So each layer have basically possess a specific and unique value. So that's why it's clear, Shaz. Yes, sir. Sure. The clear sky appears blue because. Violet and blue lights get scattered more than lights of all other colors by the atmosphere. Yes. So violet is also get scattered most, but due to the shorter wavelength, the uh, the violet color from the sky will get vanished. Okay. Yes. Sir. Okay. Eight question, Shazan. Blue light moves faster than green. No, the correct option would be C. So when the light, when the sunlight travels in a in the air medium, all the colors in the white light will travel with the same speed. That's why we see this white light. White light is a single light. Otherwise, it would get dispersed if the speeds are different. Right? Yes. Yes or no? 
yes, if you yes. basically they go when the light, dispersion of light happens what happened basically the change in speed of light so if the same thing happens in the air we will not be able to see the sunlight as a white light it would have been like it would be basically as a white color clear shazan yes sir sure that's great ninth question is scattered the least by smoke or fog yes least is scattered the smoke and fog next one which of the following phenomena contributes to the significantly radiation uh, at sunrise and scattering sunset yes the scattering of light the bluish color of water in the deep sea is due to Re reflection of sky scattering of light okay when the light ray enters the eye, the most refraction occurs at yes, Shazil. The refraction occurs at which part? At a maximum value. Um, cornea. Yes, it is cornea. Cornea basically refracts the maximum amount of light up to 75, 6, like 70 to 80 percent. And the remaining is basically uh, refracted by the eye lens. Clear, Shazan? Yes, sir. Please tell me the focal length of the eye lens increases when? When the muscles are relaxed and lens become thinner. Yes, when the when muscles are relaxed and the lens become thinner. Very good. Next, which of the following statement is correct regarding myopia and hypermetropia? Tell me the correct one. Mm Sir, A and B, right? Only single option, Shagal. So because my appear, we can see distance object clearly. The correct one, Shagal. Sir, C? Yes, it is C, Shaz. Because a myopic person can see the nearby objects clearly instead of distant objects. A person with myopia can see the distant. Shaz, this is wrong because it, he, the person cannot see the distant objects. A person with, with hypermetropia can see the nearby objects. Obviously not. The main reason is that the hypermetropic eye cannot see the nearby objects but can see the distant objects. Okay? D part is not correct because the hypermetropia cannot see the distant object. Obviously, it can see the distant objects clearly without any problem, but it should not see the nearby objects. Is this clear to you, Shaz? Please let me know. Yes, sir. Any doubt so far to you, dear? No, sir. Okay, do this question, Shaz, the third one. Let me know the correct option.
Yes, Shazan, what's the answer? Sir, A. No. Let me tell you why not A. When the light, this is a uh, like normal position of the prism. So when the white light will basically disperse from it, so the spectrum will be like this. So the red is the least deviated and violet is the most deviated. So the question is saying that the blue color should be from the top. But in this case, the blue color is from the bottom. It's not from the top. So the correct option is B. The second part is the correct option because if you take the invert, inverted prism, so it will be like this because it will scatter the most, the violet, and from the top, it would be blue color. That will basically there, uh, there from the top. Is this clear to you, Shazam? Yes, sir. Any doubt? No, sir. Okay.